Well, the deadline for the Q&A is finally up. Now, let's see how many comments that I... You can call me Riot as You're gonna review Mr. Meaty? You wanna see my Mr. Meaty? I promise you, you won't be impressed. I actually do plan on reviewing it. Probably because all the reviews for it already are god-awful. Oh, and to your other two questions, what are you, fucking queer, bruh? Less than nothing ask. Is it just me or are animators taken from Gravity Falls? Summer Camp Island is a new show about weirdness during summer just like Gravity Falls. A pilot called Victor and Valentino is about two boys in town they don't know much about. And it takes place during the summer. They later get a mask that reveals that there's more to the town. Just like Gravity Falls twins go into a town they probably don't know much about. Until Dipper finds a journal and sees there's more to the town. Holy fuck dude. By that logic, everything could be compared to Gravity Falls. Shit, Steven Universe didn't even know about his past until he found a pink lion. I'm not saying that the facts you point out aren't true, but just know that everything is a copy of something. Nothing is truly original in the cartoon world. Less than nothing as, are you tired of people doing the theory genre? It's like After Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, and Star vs. The Forces of Evil hopped on the theory genre. Hmm, it comes to my attention that you really like Gravity Falls. I'm kinda into it myself if you know what I mean. <laughs> But the theory genre is not even that big in YouTube's archive. The people who watch it just want more bang for their buck on their shows that they watch. And I have nothing against that. Now the thing I'm concerned about is when the show is over. What will they do then? Black Geek asks, do you like Little Uzi? Well, I like his album covers, but his music is way too straightforward to listen to. I give more credit to his producers than him. Also, this song is alright too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just another reviewer as favorite porn artist. And don't say Zone, you basic bitch. Hey, fuck you. Zone ain't even an artist, you cunt. Now, Shadman, that's where it's at. Have you seen that nigga Shaden, bruh? He's the only guy I've seen sexualize Hillary Clinton. So he's number one in my book. Jerky Golfer as Hey, review your life. I know you're gonna be big if you can improve as an artist and get higher tech. He can be gigantic. I hope you know. I will always root for you. Hey, I really appreciate the comment, but, uh, what are you trying to say? Yasmin Tay asks, what's your sweetest childhood memory? Question mark, up, up. My sweetest childhood memory was staying up all night for no particular reason on June 14, 2004, and I witnessed CN City premiere before my very eyes. And I will never forget how confused and excited I was. Richard Pope asks, will you review the B movie, the pinnacle of human animation? It would have been cool to review this when the meme was big, but if I review it now, I probably wouldn't take it seriously. Richard Pope asks, how many voices are in your head? If I review a porn star, will I get Where's better? Where's Nurse? I wonder if people realize that they can't draw a line. Gay? None. I'm Hoovy asks, is Damn Daniel the best May May? How dare you? Are you fucking 12? We're number one cure the guy of cancer. And Pepe got a guy elected as president. Get them Facebook memes out of here, bruh. Ryan Gonzalez asks, what is your favorite cartoon that you review on this channel? This question kind of confuses me. Do you mean my favorite review or my favorite cartoon? Either way, both will be the Kiss Next Door review. So much work and attention to detail went into it. And the backlash is overwhelming. As I was making it, I could already tell that it was gonna hit like at least a thousand. EMX guy 99 asks, "What's your favorite song?" I personally hate when anyone is asked this question because the answer to it is always subject to change. But to humor your curiosity, "Broken by Gorillas" is the best song ever made. You can call me Riot asks, "When is the OWF retrospect coming out?" Ah, I thought you looked familiar. In order to answer this question. I had to give you guys a little history lesson about your boy. You see, I used to be part of these wrestling forums based on the video game Wrestling Empire. And on these forums, there was a wrestling promotion simulator that got real life people involved. One of them happened to be OWF, Online Wrestling Federation. Long story short, the creator of the show has ADD, which means he kept working on new projects instead of the show people came to see. So to answer your question, I might 
But you'll probably be the only one that will see it. Alex the Menace asks, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Believe it or not, I started this channel as a joke with me and my friends. That is, however, till I met this YouTuber, Captain Christian. I opened my eyes to the videos that I could be making. So him, Video Game Donkey, John Tron, and everyone keeps telling me to check out this Rebel Taxi guy. Sounds like a real fag to me. Dope D asks, if you could have sex with someone, who will it be? Tiana Trump. Also, how good can you draw? Nigga, are you saying that I can't draw because of my avatar? Fuck you. I did have her draw 18 year old Penny Proud a long time ago. Is this any good? Zach Zap 99 asks, what are your thoughts on the PlayStation Vita? The memory card prices killed the console. I should know. I own the highest storage capacity. I am Super Crash asks, who's the sexiest girl in Overwatch? And why is it May? May is definitely the cutest. But if you're an ass man, Widowmaker will make you come in three seconds. Promise. G Smith 624 asks, Congratulations on 1000, my dude. Hope to see you there soon. My question is, will you do a review of Static Shock? Hmm, wait a minute. Hey folks. Azrael Frost here today to talk with you about my nostalgia trip. Consider it done. However, if Mars Reviews does it first, I'm canceling the idea. Carlos Granillo asks, what are you planning to review and how long does a video take to make? Well, Carlo, by the time you asked this question, I was releasing the Proud Family Review. So there's that. And the time to make videos really varies. While these videos took me one day, most of the others range around a week. Mainly due to writer's block going into scripts. Mexican Gamer828 asks, Congrats! Thanks! Joanne Wolf asks, What shows do you have the fondest memories of as a kid? The only thing that comes to mind a lot is Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Anytime anything remotely cute happens in that show, I used to cry for no reason. Mainly at this scene right here. Goodbye, Blue! I'll miss you! <gasps> Boom! I just start sobbing on the floor, being the little bitch I was. It was beautiful. Mindtopia43 as Sweet! Emoji. Will you review or get the Nintendo Switch? Yes, sir. But the real question is, am I prepared for disappointment? The guy asks, how many inches is that gap in real life? And how did you get it? Or are you just trying to be a dirty Spongebob? Just so you guys know, this is one of my friends that troll and flag my videos on my channel. Because har har you make YouTube videos, you're gay. So to humor your question, Adrian, this is what my gap looks like in real life. And I got it by running in the hallways of elementary school at the wrong time. Generic anime profile as question one. Have you ever thought of doing a gaming channel? Question two. What are your thoughts on the oversaturation of sitcoms on Disney Channel? To answer your first question, no. I'd probably do a stream playing a game or some shit, but I'd rather stay away from the fuckery that is everyday uploading. And number two, Zook Disney and Disney Channel always had an oversaturation of sitcoms. They just did an experimental era of animation to see if it would work out, and moved it all to Toon Disney, also known as Disney XD. Honestly, whenever people complain about this issue, they have to realize that getting older changes perspectives. GNS254 asks, why do you hate me? Just so you guys know, this guy is part of the group of friends that I'm talking about. And no, I don't hate you. GNS254 asks, how gay are you? I ain't gay, bruh. Just because I watched Baku no Piku more than once just to review it, doesn't mean I like dick. GNS254 asks, why do you hate hentai? I'll have you know that Energy Kaioka is one of the best hentais ever made. The only one that I'm not so fond of is Black Bobble. Crucify me. GNS254 asks, why doesn't society use the n-word when they use other racial slurs already? Before I answer this question, I'd like to state that I'm not an activist, so I could care less about the n-word. I inspire people to say it actually. It's just that black people complain all the time, so this world will never win. Joseph Ramos asks, how come you hate E40? This is a friend, and this is why. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip.
Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. James Curly asks, "What's your favorite game?" Smackdown. Here comes the pain. Ruth Cooper asks, "Congratulations on 1,000. You earn it." Thanks, man. I'm still kind of surprised myself. Sir Eli asks, "Do you like memes?" Nah. Shit post is where it's at. Sir Eli asks. What is up with your Loud House and Steven Universe Twitter banner? And can I have the original links to those images? <laughs> I literally have no idea what you're talking about. These girls are on a teeter totter And these girls are stuck in an edible box. What's wrong with you? CN Fan 96 asks, What is the worst cartoon you've ever seen? And is it Breadwinners? Hey, fuck you. I actually like Breadwinners. Well shit, looks like I have to explain why someday. But nah, the worst cartoon ever is Tumblr and Puppy Cat. ZegZap99 asks, First off, if anyone deserves 1000, it's you. My question is, which is your favorite? Ed, Ed, or Eddie? And why? Thanks dude. And Ed is my favorite strictly for his one-liners. Night Trick asks, How many kindergartners can you take in a fight? This is a friend. And the hidden tactic to this question is to pick up one of the kindergartners and use them as a tool to beat the rest of the kindergartners. A real loner asks, Who drew you, nigga? Okay, I'm sensing a pattern here. Does this drawing look that bad to you guys? I've been getting by without people noticing that I'm shit at shading. I thought I looked appealing to the eye. Hacks Money asks, Will you give your thoughts on Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? I will give you my thoughts when they show actual gameplay. Gameplay with no HUD is not gameplay, people. Oh, and look out for the review too. Hex Money asks, How's your Naruto and Smash Flash doing? Still fearing the puff? From your boy, JR. Now, this is a friend from high school. He's referring to Super Smash Flash 2, where I usually spam my side attack with Naruto, while he picks Jigglypuff and smashes my shit in. M. Reynolds asks, What's your current favorite show on Modern Nick, Disney, and Cartoon Network? The Loud House probably because they beat the Harvey Deeks curse, Star vs. the Forces of Evil because it has a great balance of seriousness and comedy, and Clarence is just awesome in general. Jody, Deli Doyos asks, when you touch a knife, do you have the sudden urge to punch glass and jump off a building? What kind of new age meme is this shit? Zach Minyard asks, best album of 2016. Believe it or not, I put a lot of thought into this one, because there was a lot of underwhelming albums this year, but this one? is pretty solid. I'm not counting Death Grips in this category by the way. They always win the album of the year in my opinion, so it wouldn't be fair. Zyke T1 asks, my dick is hard. Mine is too, weird huh? Alex Santana 504 asks, who inspired you to do YouTube? Captain Christian, he makes these short video essays about stuff he likes that I just so happen to like. Basically every time he uploads a video, I start writing a script for a new video. Spyro Chronicle asks, did you hand any inspiration for making your character? I did actually. I strictly used the base of an Ego Raptor drawing and I just put my own spins on it so I won't get sued. Zuhair Sidiqui asks, Yee. What are you, fucking 12? I'm assuming you expected me to answer with this. Yee. You simpleton. You can call me Riot as, Why don't you have time to hang out with me anymore, Demon Trey? This is a guy I used to play WWE 2K games with. Once I got into the YouTube game, I started playing with him less. I also didn't find this year's release much appealing, but you hear all about it if the next game shit. So to answer your question, Riot, we're both getting older. Thunder Master Yoshi asks, Do you think Modern Nickelodeon is worse than Modern Cartoon Network? Aw, oh, don't tell me. You're the type of person to watch Phantom Strider, stuff with Scott Fly, and Saber Spark. I have nothing against any of these guys. I just hate channel demographics that strive for millennials. Oh shit, I hate Teen Titans Go too! Destiny's Lab was the best! But D-Dark Man, what's with this? A fucking mistake is what it was. Anyone remember Robot Boy? Everyone remembers fucking Robot Boy. Now I gotta review Robot Boy just to show you guys that people still remember Robot Boy. It might be next people, look out for it. SNB 166 stars ass. Are you gonna review Mobile Mysteries? Wait a second. You look familiar. I have a 
bone to pick with you. Not only am I not going to review something no one knows about, but I'm probably not the only person that you asked to review it. And the person that you probably did ask to review it, you straight tell them what you hate about the video. Nah, son. It seems that you have quite a bit of a hard on for this show, so why don't you review it? James Bands as What's the most overrated cartoon and underrated cartoon without saying Teen Titans Go or Powerpuff Girls 2016? First off, I only laugh at those two reboots because they make fun of themselves sometimes. Now to answer your question, the most overrated cartoon is The Amazing World of Gumball. Fight me. The most underrated cartoon is Phineas and Ferb, because these bugs will make a catchy song for every episode in the series, which counts up to 222 songs, nigga. Genius254 asks, Have you ever loved someone so much you give an arm for her? This is an inside joke given to me when I made the Eagle Raptor video. My friends thought I was just riding the guy's nuts instead of giving him a proper critique. And also, they all like Eminem. Put two and two together, you make a piece of pie. Kevin Evectile asks, Have you ever heard of Nicktoons MLB? M Sonic and Sega All-Star Tennis? This question is pretty abstract, but yes, I have heard of Super Sonic Sega Tennis, but after looking up the Nicktoons MLB, let me just tell you, this roster looks hilarious. Emmy Freud asks, congrats on 1K. My question is, cartoons you like as a kid, but now you don't like them anymore. And Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? Thanks, man. Um, a cartoon I used to like but I don't now may have to be Mucha Lucha. I just can't watch an episode all the way through now. And I will always go Cartoon Network over anything. It's just a default channel to my childhood. Either that or 2007 Nicktoons. Excel asks, my question is, how does it feel to have 1,000 subs? Well, as I'm recording this, I'm on my way to 2,000 now, so it's kind of overwhelming. Livewire asks, congrats dude. 101 subs, my nigga. My question is, are you going to redesign your avatar? Okay, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Are you guys insisting I redraw my character or some shit, bruh? How about you guys draw me better, huh? How about that? Sick kid ass. What's your favorite cartoon slash anime? And then Eddie and Midori Days. Also, favorite game? Smackdown, here comes the pain. Well, that concludes Reveal Your Life's Q&A. Expect another one when I hit 100,000 subs. I know for sure that I lost a good chunk of subscribers based on the way I answered these questions, but this project was made for me to get to know you guys, and for you to get to know me. The schedule for videos, just in case you guys wanted to know, is a video a month. I know it may sound terrible, but the effort going into these big reviews is no joke. I try to make content that's informative, yet silly at the same time, and you guys seem to enjoy it, so I know I'm doing something right. Check on my Twitter if you want to get updates on what I will review next, and shoot me a question or two sometimes contained to the show, or me. I'm always looking, guys. Now, if you excuse me, I have to apparently take art lessons. See ya! Oh, and thank you.